Zdrasti cha, tovarishi. And welcome to the big reveal that I've been playing up for the last two or three weeks or so. But uh, in my head, it feels like this has been so long in coming that I've had a passion, a drive, a want to do something like this that's been welling up inside of me for quite some time. And it's exciting that it's uh, finally going to get out there, that uh, ideas are finally going to become reality, that rubber's finally going to meet the road. So what exactly is it that I'm revealing? Well, today is the opening day of my new podcast, Na Plus Ultra. So you might be wondering just what the heck Na Plus Ultra is. Well, above all, it's a political and philosophical podcast. It takes the best of past analysis with future information to combine together to create something that's really unlike anything I've tried before or anyone else has really tried before. The main thing that holds Na Plus Ultra together is a series of rules, is a system, if you will, combined with one overarching purpose and mission. As many of you probably know, I'm a huge history junkie, I'm a huge philosophy junkie, but above all, I'm a huge political junkie. I just cannot stop consuming political news and current events information. For whatever reason, uh, I'm just addicted. So I spent a lot of time researching news articles, pulling up stories, and just generally doing my best to try and understand what's going on in the world at a present time. The older I got, though, the more alienated I started to feel from news outlets and other sources of information. And I really had, I guess, a turning point earlier this year, probably January or, or February. I, I don't really remember. But uh, during that time, you know, there was a big controversial issue that everyone was talking about. I don't really want to mention it. But uh, anyway, there's this big controversial issue that's on everybody's mind. All the news outlets are writing about it. And I went to read a story about this issue from one news outlet. And basically, their entire, su uh, their entire argument can be summed up as follows. I'm right because I'm right. Everyone who disagrees with me is the scum of the earth. Here's my proposed solution to this problem, which may be ideologically consistent, but is ineffective, short-sighted, and above all, unhelpful. So I left that site, and then I decided, hey, I'm going to go to another site, which has the exact opposite uh, reaction to this issue because it's on the exact opposite of the political spectrum and read what they have to say there. Their argument can be summed up as follows. I'm right because I'm right. Everyone who disagrees with me is the scum of the earth. And here's my proposed solution to the problem, etc., etc., etc. It was the exact same format, just with different ideological trappings and a different proposed solution. How dumb do these people think we are? I thought to myself. These are clearly just ideological driven snippets of information which are constructed for one sole purpose and that is to manipulate people's emotions and is to manipulate people's thoughts. It was pretty clear to me that political media and other current events outlets had really just devolved into this game of who can stoke their base to manufacture the most outrage and then harness that outrage into creating the most amount of dollars. And I, quite frankly, was tired of it. I was tired of being treated like a child. I was tired of having spoon-fed ideologies rammed down my throat. I was tired of nobody actually taking the time to analyze serious issues which are facing our society every day. I couldn't be the only one who felt this way. I couldn't be the only one who wanted something more. In fact, I knew I wasn't, not just through conversations with you guys, but conversations from people through all walks of life. They were tired of being treated like a child, and they wanted to be treated like an adult for once in their life. So, from that idea, Na Plus Ultra was born. Well, at least the concept of it was born, and it took quite some time to fashion it down into a refined idea. So, basically, the podcast itself has three rules in order for me to help accomplish the end goal that this whole podcast is set out to do. So our three rules are as follows. First off, rule number one, the world is a complicated place. So let's treat it as such. Rule number two, 
treat your audience like the intelligent and informed adults that they are. Rule number three, our world is rarely black and white, so let's not spend all this time polarizing these shades of gray. These are the standards I've set up for myself, and I hope that anyone who listens to the podcast will hold me to those standards, because the entire podcast is geared towards one thing, and that is the fostering, gathering, and creation of independent thinkers. I have a principle that uh, was given to me when I was very young, and that is the number one contribution you can make to your society is to become a free and independent thinker. And that's what this podcast is all about. It's not about agreement. It's not about disagreement. It's about what I personally love most in the world, and that is having interesting discussions about big ideas. So the show itself is divided into two parts. The first part is a focused discussion, a deep analysis about some issue, some change, some factor in society. The first episode is entitled, The Times They Are a-Changin', and it's all about the generational shift that's happening in our society as Generation Xers are moving up into more leadership positions and baby, baby boomers are retiring. This leaves our generation to fill that power vacuum, and uh, sometimes we've filled it very well, other times not so well. The second part of the show is all listener submissions. And I say submissions because I don't want just questions. I want thoughts. I want feedback. I want people who want to expand on a certain part uh, of a previous show to write in. And I want people who maybe think I'm misguided or wrong or missed something in a certain part of the show. I want them to write in as well. And then the second half of the show is all about fostering discussions of these interesting ideas and letting the audience set the topics and tempo of conversation. Obviously, in the first episode, we don't have any uh, listener feedback, so I have installed, I guess, a bonus segment is what I called it at the end of the first episode, which uh, will definitely, if you're a super political nerd like I am, uh, you're going to eat that shit up. Uh, If not, it might be a little uh, wonky for you, I suppose. But uh, that's basically the brief overview of the podcast uh, to get a real detailed uh, description first off listen to the actual first episode which is out now or uh, go to the website which is www.npupodcast.com and read the introductory blog which has a lot more detail shoved into it so it really paints a more three-dimensional picture of what the podcast is about and what its overall goals are so how do you get the podcast you might ask Well, there's a couple ways to go about it. The easiest way is to head on over to the website that I mentioned earlier, www.npupodcast.com. And from there, you can play the podcast directly. You can download it from the website. And right now, I'm just using SoundCloud as a distribution method. Uh, Eventually, I'll be looking into other alternatives. But for the foreseeable future, SoundCloud is perfectly adequate for you know what uh, I'm looking for and, and what needs to be done. So if you wanted to, you could alternatively go over to the SoundCloud page and download and listen to it from there. As well, I've submitted the podcast to iTunes today. Haven't got the approval, but uh, I'm sure it won't be an issue. So within the hopefully today or or very very shortly, iTunes will be another way to download the podcast. And then as time goes on, I will submit it to Stitcher, to TuneIn, and to any other platforms that uh, I possibly can. Right now, the first episode is out, so I definitely recommend you download and listen to it, and uh, I cannot wait to hear what people have to say about it. Uh, It's it's absolutely professional. I've spent a lot of time making sure that the podcast is a professionally produced piece of audio, and uh, I cannot wait for people to start listening to it and uh, deliver any kind of feedback to me as well. There is sort of an introductory blog post, which will give you, like I said, the the meat and bones of really what the podcast is about. So I recommend you go over and read that as well. There's a discussion and comment pages below. 
and uh, that's kind of the main outline for the site right now. Now, I just want to talk about the podcast in relation to the channel. The podcast definitely has different information than the channel, and it has different content than the channel. However, even if you're not a politically engaged or inclined person, I still recommend you listen to at least the first three episodes before you decide whether or not the podcast is for you. It's constructed in a way to be engaging for people who may not have a high level of political consciousness. So the, by the time the month is over, like I said, there'll be three episodes out there. And uh, I you know, know exactly the content for these three episodes. And it's going to give a very, very good idea of exactly what the framework for the podcast is going to be like and what to expect from it in the future. It'll definitely give you enough information to decide, hey, even though I'm not necessarily a political guy or gal, I still find this really interesting, or I don't find this interesting at all, I'm just going to stick and watch you know, video games. And that's totally okay, because the channel is not going anywhere at all. It is staying here, uh, and of course, we're going to be moving forward with a bunch of different reforms and projects on that front as well. Now that the podcast has actually been established uh, and all the work basically laying the ground is done, you know, it's time to basically, you know, let the groundwork uh, stand on its own. And now I can focus on other different things. Other than some cross promotion, for the most part, the podcast and channel will remain separate entities. So with that, uh, that's come to the end of the video log. Uh, big reveal, big day. An A Plus Ultra, episode one available right now at www.npupodcast.com. Check it out. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. So with that, it's been the Stanlander signing off for now. And until next time, you guys take care.